we've learned in the last 50 years that, of course, not only do we exist in this universe, it is the universe itself that exists within us. One in 200 stars has habitable Earth-like planets surrounding it. In the galaxy, half a billion stars have Earth-like planets going around them. That's huge, half a billion. So when we look at the night sky, it makes sense that someone is looking back at us. Well, that might sound creepy, but so has the idea of a super habitable planet outer worlds that may turn out to be more habitable than Earth. Through the findings of the James Webb Telescope, the idea of habitable exoplanets has become more realistic. But what if I told you that there are planets more habitable than Earth? In this video, we take a look at some of those planets and get to know what takes for a planet to be more habitable than Earth. Earth, the only planet known to harbour life, has been the platform of human existence. With space exploration and research on the rise, Humans are on an expedition to search the nooks and crannies of the universe to find planets that could inhabit us, planets better than Earth. The life of our planet Earth depends on liquid water, and researchers have been eyeing planets with Earth-like conditions, and water has proven to be an important factor. According to some scientists, focusing only on Earth-like worlds can turn out to be too anthropocentric and geocentric eventually blinding us to the unknown possibilities of exobiology. Dirk schultz makuch an astrobiologist at Washington State University and the Technical University of Berlin said, We are so overfocused on finding a mirror image of Earth that we may overlook a planet that is even more well suited for life. With several forms of research being conducted by scientists across the globe, they have stumbled upon planets far more capable than the one we dwell in. One such form of research was the one conducted by Schultz Makuch and his team, and they aim to search for potentially superhabitable exoplanets. A superhabitable planet is a hypothetical type of exoplanet or exomoon that may be better suited than planet Earth for the emergence and evolution of life. The concept was initially introduced in 2014 by Rene Heller and John Armstrong. Both Heller and Armstrong proposed that a series of basic characteristics are required to classify an exoplanet or exomoon as superhabitable. According to them, when it comes to size, a super inhabitable planet is required to be about two Earth masses and 1.3 Earth radii will provide an optimal size for plate tectonics. The general concept of a super stable planet includes that the planet would have a greater gravitational attraction that would increase the retention of gases during the planet's formation. So, there is a high chance that these planets have a denser atmosphere that offers a greater concentration of oxygen and greenhouse gases, which would raise the average temperature to optimum levels for planet life to about 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. A denser atmosphere could also influence the surface relief, making it more regular and decreasing the size of the ocean basins. This would in turn improve the diversity of marine life in shallow waters. Schultz Makuch and his team turned to the Kepler Object of Interest Exoplanet Archive for research and focused on 4,500 planetary systems that seems to have possessed rocky planets within their star's habitable zones, where liquid water can exist. In 2020, the researchers published their findings in the journal Astrobiology. Unlike most of the research being conducted by other scientists, this team also looked at planetary systems with orange dwarf stars which are cooler, dimmer, and less in size compared to our Sun, in addition to looking at planetary systems with yellow dwarf stars like our Sun. According to Schultz Makuch, our Sun is not the best kind of star for hosting a planet with lots of life on it. Surprisingly, orange dwarf stars are about 50% more common than yellow dwarfs in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Our Sun has an estimated lifetime of less than 10 billion years, whereas orange dwarfs have lifetimes of 20 billion to 70 billion years. The size and mass of a planet are some of the factors that can influence how well it can support life. 
Take an example of a rocky planet that is larger than Earth. Such a planet would have a more habitable surface area and also has the high possibility of having a thicker, more stable atmosphere. When it comes to mass, a planet with about one and a half times Earth's mass would most likely retain its interior heat longer. This would help the planet to keep its core molten and its protective magnetic field active for a greater time span. This provides the time in which life might arise and evolve. Often we consider planets hotter than Earth to be inhabitable and this is where the role of temperature comes in. If you thought that the warmer it is, the more impossible it would be to survive, you're wrong. Planets that are warmer than Earth by about 8 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius might turn out to be super habitable. That's because these planets could have larger tropical zones which on Earth foster more biodiversity. As heat increases in a planet, so does a requirement. The more moisture it requires, as greater heat could expand deserts. Another aspect of habitability is that planets with the same amount of land area as Earth but broken up into smaller continents can turn out to be more habitable. Want to know why? Here's why. When continents become extremely large, such as the Gondwana, which existed on Earth about 500 million years ago, their centers become far from oceans, resulting in rendering the interiors of large continents vast, inhospitable deserts. Also, because Earth's shallow waters have a greater biodiversity than its deep oceans, scientists speculate that planets with shallower waters could have the ability to support more life. Schultz Makuch and team identified 24 potentially superhabitable planets. Some potential superhabitable planets include KOI 4878.01, KOI 5237.01, KOI 7711.01, KOI 5248.01, KOI 5176.01, KOI 7235.01, and KOI 7223.01. The 24 potential superhabitable planets were indeed astonishing, but none of these worlds met all the criteria the researchers drew up for superhabitable planets. Well, the story doesn't end here, as one of them met at least two. KOI 5715.01. KOI stands for Kepler Object of Interest, and we're talking about KOI 5725.01, a planet about 5.5 billion years old and 1.8 to 2.5 times Earth's diameter, orbiting an orange dwarf, which is at a distance of 2,965 light years away. The planet is estimated to have an average surface temperature of about 4.3 degrees Fahrenheit or 2.4 degrees Celsius cooler than that of Earth. But if it has more greenhouse gases than Earth to trap heat, it might just turn out to be super habitable. Well, of all the 24 planets they stumbled upon, Schultz Makulch's favorite potentially super habitable world was KOI 5554.01. This planet is about 6.5 billion years old and has a diameter of 0.72 to 1.29 times that of Earth orbiting a yellow dwarf that is about 700 light years from Earth. He said, I really like the average surface temperature, about 27 degrees Celsius. He adds on, and it's probably about Earth's size and a little bit older than Earth. Well, all of these 24 potentially superhabitable planets have a distance that is more than 100 light years from Earth, which makes them too far for NASA's transiting exoplanet survey satellite spacecraft to capture high quality images to learn more about them. This is where the powerhouses like the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA's Louvois Space Observatory Mission Concept and the European Space Agency's Plato Space Telescope come in. Schultz Makuch also says, we caution that while we search for superhabitable planets, that doesn't mean that they necessarily contain life. He continues, a planet can be habitable or superhabitable but uninhabited. NASA launched the James Webb Space Telescope in 2018, which could now help scientists to take a closer look at a planet's atmosphere, detect if it has oceans, and analyze its chemical composition. These unique features of the telescope could undoubtedly provide great insight into discovering superhabitable planets. Well, 
using the help of this telescope, if we could develop the means to find out superhabitable planets, then the chances are that these planets may turn out to be more common than Earth-like planets. The concept of superhabitability could eventually broaden our chances of discovering life in other worlds. Ravi Koparapu, a physicist at Penn State University says, because it opens up the possibility that there may be some super-Earth planets with appropriate conditions for life, I think it is noteworthy to consider these planets for future habitability studies. So, what do you think about superhabitable planets and do you think these potential planets might be much more habitable than our Earth? If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that we can entertain you with more new videos.